phone Israel and tell them one of their men is missing. <laughs> Shalom. Are you from Israel, my friend? Shalom. Good. Fine. I was in Israel myself. Yes. Would you, would you mind standing, sir? Do you mind if I talk to you? You're so moody. <laughs> anyway, uh, you like that, eh, you big Irish bum? You thought that was funny, eh, you son of a gun, you? We, gotta, we need you Irish people for those parades. Anyway, what is your name, my friend? Shlomo. <laughs> Shlomo, I don't mean to laugh, but it, you know, in America, you call a guy Shlomo, a couple of people stare, you know what I mean? What's your last name, Shlomo? Shlomo Yoselevich. You're jerking me around, Shlomo. <laughs> Shlomo Lovalevich. What do you do for a living? I'm an entertainer. Did I make it funny? You're starting to get on my nerves, Shlomo, I'll tell you that. Where do you, where do you work? In Israel. I got a show there. I got a show there. You know something? You got me talking like this. What's the name of the show? Sing Along with Shlomo. Get out of here. Give him a nice hand. He's a good sport. Good luck to you, Shlomo. Sing Along with Shlomo. Oh, God. God bless you, Dad. Where are you from, Dad? Laguna Beach. Laguna Beach? Nice to see you. You can sit down. Anyway, uh, would you stand up, sir? See, this is a smart outfit if you got a bucket of paint. Are you from Rhodesia? Oh, that's nice of... Thank you, sir, for recommending. Anyway, uh... What is your name, sir? My name's Harry Booth. Oh, good to see you, Harry. Nice meeting you. I've met you before on TV in Rhodesia. Did you really? Yeah. Oh, good show. <laughs> Who are you, Harry? What do you do for a living, Harry? I look after radio equipment on the Rhodesia Railways. Oh, it sounds exciting. Anyway, uh, you're a nice... How long have you been here? Uh, about two weeks. About uh, two weeks. Would you lift your arms, please? Yep. <laughs> He's clean. Okay, Harry, I hope peace comes to your country and good things for all of us, okay? Thank you very good much. Good luck to you. Give Harry a nice thing. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back with my dear friend Carol O'Connor, Peter Marshall, Bobby Ramson, and Jose Molina. Next video recorder, you can actually watch a show on one channel while you're videotaping a show on another channel. That way you get to see both of them, so you don't have to worry about dreaming up new ways of deciding. Okay, first one to the TV set, choose us. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks, Doc. I'm almost embarrassed to read this, but I must say my next guest, uh, because we're dear friends, but I don't want to leave anything out, so I will take liberties of reading from a card. Uh, has uh, television's most popular show without any question. Carol O'Connor is, is an Emmy Award winner who is currently in his ninth year of portraying uh, the wonderful Archie Bunker. He is most important in the world, the best friend in, in life, a dear, dear man and a great star, Archie Bunker, Carol O'Connor. <laughs> When a band stands up, and I don't think they do that too often, you know you're they there. It was a break. Isn't that the yeah. truth, folks, really? Uh, that's when a band they... stands up. Carol, it's so good to see you. I love you dearly. I know your schedule is... Nothing uh... from Doc. Not a word of hello. Nothing. No recognition over here. Doc, me. give him a hello or something. Hey, all right. The band waved, and the band waved, and Doc turned his back. Well, you heard him. Hey, oh, everything you know, with was him was a corral rally. Watching the show, you know. I, I was just thinking yeah. that I like Peter. A, a, a show, you know, where he asked questions. 
he must be one of the smartest guys in the world if he retains uh, 30 or 40 percent of the, of the information. How, how much of that? I've got I don't remember who was on last night. No, I'm talking about the, I'm talking about the questions you were asking. You know, I've watched it many times. And I think if this guy just retains some of this stuff, he's got to be an encyclopedia. Do you retain anything at all? No, you don't look like you do. All right. Well, we're off that. I thought I'd include Peter in this. I wish I did, though. I just, you know, I forget. (laughs) Actually, I do. I know know a lot of little (laughs) trivia things, what they call minutia, you understand, Carol. Yes. Little tiny things. Okay, here's your visas. We both can leave for Dublin in the morning, and you, I threw in the other guy on the end. <laughs> Karen O'Connor, my darling friend. Ed's ready to go in. You got a restaurant now. Yeah, what we Call got? Gin- is it gingerbread? Is a gingerbread man? Oh, for God's I, sake. I louse up the name every time. What is it, my darling? You never get it right. Tell me right. Let's talk in a brogue. Ed, what is the name of the place? What is it? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Look who I became a Jew. <laughs> When he dies, there's going to be a beer can on his face going, help me, I'm belching. (laughs) What, what, how do you say it now? Well, can I go into the history of this? You can do whatever you want when you're that big, Carol. You can do whatever you want. The Smithsonian Institute, while your wife Nancy's running up and down the street going, hello, sailor. (laughs) Anyway. (laughs) Just spit up, Carol. We're coast to coast. It doesn't matter. (laughs) Knocking my brains out and he's spitting up his cigar juice over here. Go ahead, Carol. Are you ready, then? No, I am ready, my darling, because we're good friends. Now, my partner, Patrick O'Neill, starred in a play in New York uh, many years ago called The Ginger Man. And while he was in that play, he got the idea of opening a restaurant there. So he thought, well, I'll call my restaurant The, the Ginger Man, not The Gingerbread Man. The Ginger Man. Schmendrick. Ah, what a brain, what a brain. The ginger Man. And that's why you studied at Dublin so University then, to come uh, up with that name. To come up with that, yes. So anyway, so that's what he called his place in New York, and that's what he wanted to call his place. Now, I'm only a partner. My partner, Patrick O'Neill, whom you see on Kaz on Sunday nights, a uh, brilliant actor, is the real force behind this restaurant. Well, you show up pretty good, and you go, I am not allowed to drink too much now. i got to take care of my health. And he's got the cigar in one hand. I was over there the other night. You must go there. And he says, you know, John, my health isn't too good, but I got to watch myself. I'm fine. Thank God he's fine. But he's got to watch himself because Carol's a two-fisted guy ever since I've known him. He smokes the cigar. He's got the booze going. He's everything. And all he needs the broads, but we got the two wives sitting there going, down, 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 down. Oh, this is Frank Johnny's box. Ooh. When he dies, I'm going to put him in this. No, this is his cigarette box. It's his favorite box. It's a long story. He's a dummy. He doesn't know. He's got $40 million. He sits with his wife, Joanna, on the floor and goes, your turn. Anyway, and they put the trains through the tunnel. It's a whole damn thing. They're not even the filter ones. No, who cares? What are we going to discuss this for? Hello? All right. All right. All right. You remember Sinuensis? He worked the Strand. He was there for two years till the pit went down and he didn't know about it. Anyway, uh, that's a show business joke. I will let him talk. If you butt out, you're getting on my nerves, really. I knew you in 1926 when Fay Ray was hot with the ape. Anyway, uh... Oh, Fred, I, I, I really, I really...